Well, I want to show you where I had supper tonight here in Seoul, Korea. I'm not exactly sure uh, what area Seoul is, but hey, always as a frame of reference, I'm on line number one, uh, stop 131, got out here on exit number four. So that's line one, it's the Jonggak, Jonggak, J-O-N-G-G-A-K -A -A station here. So uh, just come up to the... Uh, to the steps here and uh, hang a right. Nice uh, prominent structure is this uh, shrine uh, religious uh, bell tower here and uh, that can be on your right because uh, you want to head down this uh, alley right here and we'll just walk on down and you can listen to the sounds here on a Saturday night. Gorgeous weather here in uh, April 2008 in Seoul. It was much more crowded an hour or so ago. Everybody was there at the uh, station exit, getting ready to meet their friends and go places and do things. Give me an idea of the tower. Very nicely lit up here in the evening. The uh, place, and uh, excuse me, I've already forgotten the name of it. I think it's Master Fire Bowl or something like that. It was recommended by the restaurant critic in the Herald Tribune here in Seoul uh, a few weeks ago, and I decided I wanted to uh, check it out. Just want to show you this uh, intersection here with all the lights and people are about. I need to walk down that area and see what's going on. And you can see what's over in uh, this part of the street. But our destination is continuing straight ahead here. And it's just like, uh, what is that, 50, 70 yards from the uh, subway station. Couldn't be any uh, easier to find. And here we are. Uh, someone who can read... Uh, Korean will have to uh, do the translating here for me. I'll get you up close so you can see the sign a little bit better. I've got some video of the uh, interior and it's all very nice. Went in there and uh, you order from the menu <coughs> and they uh, bring out the charcoal and uh, put it in these little burners right in front of you there and you cook it up. You have the little indoor campfire. So uh, this is all very nice. I'd recommend uh, coming on out here. I had a very nice dinner and a beer for uh, 29,000 won. Uh, here's the uh, menu if anybody uh, again can read Korean. Had the beef. So it's all very sociable in there as far as uh, activities. Oh, uh, we'll want to note they do take credit cards so uh, that's always nice. Saves me from having uh, to carry around too much wand when they have the, uh, the credit cards here. Oh, just a little uh, sidebar. Oh, yeah, uh, gentleman's coming up down there from the basement, so uh, don't be uh, worried if it looks like the upstairs area is all filled. Uh, you can certainly uh, probably find seating uh, downstairs there. And uh, it's all very nice, very hospitable. The cook kind of comes over and kind of kicks things off and so forth. And uh, you're all set. And then after dinner, you can walk in uh, that direction. Uh, another uh, 20 or 30 yards is uh, a stream that's one of the uh, urban landscapes, urban parks that they have here in uh, Seoul. I can't pronounce it. It has an extremely long name. But uh, after dinner, you can walk down there and walk up and down the uh, stream bed or up on the... Uh, uh, street there and so forth. Must be uh, hundreds of people out there uh, walking up and down. Hey, rather than talk about it, let's just walk down there and take a look. Oh, uh, I was going to mention a moment ago there, sort of a sidebar. Uh, just as I was walking up and down this alley just a few minutes ago, who do I run into but uh, one of the concierge staff at the hotel that I'm staying at. Uh, she was out for an evening there with uh, 
her friend and uh, hello how are you I mean how many millions of people live here in Seoul and uh, we have a chance encounter like that uh, obviously we will <laughs> talk about uh, running into each other here in this situation it's a beautiful evening here the weather is just absolutely gorgeous so uh, that's certainly bringing out the crowds on this side street here and we'll just walk over here and give you some idea of what's uh, right down here in this urban landscape I know it's pretty dark but if you can hear the rushing water Too dark to see uh, here in the video, but uh, just ahead at the end of my finger underneath that uh, bridge right there is uh, several hundred people just sitting on the banks and uh, strolling around and so forth. That's what you do here in uh, Seoul. This uh, bright object in the uh, upper right corner there is a super, super jumbo TV screen. We've got quite a few of those around Seoul and in other places in Korea. We'll just give you the panorama. Uh, this weather couldn't be any nicer right now. We're still experiencing the yellow sand from uh, China and Mongolia right now, so it's very hazy and all, but the uh, temperatures are still very mild and uh, just very pleasant. And then right over here and uh, on this side of the street here is the Western Bar Guinness. and. Uh, I mean, literally, the folks are uh, on the tables there right out in the street uh, where the cars would be parked. So give up some parking and put a few more tables out. Uh, very convenient from the uh, subway station. So uh, just come on out like this couple here and uh, stroll around the neighborhood and or uh, get down here. Maybe in the shadows you can see some of the people walking up and down. That's what you do here on a Saturday night in Seoul, South Korea. Thanks for watching.